Hello everyone, today we're going to tell you how you can lose weight without exercise. Today is day 22 of my 60 pounds in 90 days weight loss challenge. I will put the weigh in at the end of this video. And uh, please like and subscribe below if you want to see the progress and the results and get daily weight loss tips. And what I'd like to talk to you about today is whether or not you can lose weight without exercise. Clearly you can. There's a lot of people that try to tell me you can't lose weight without exercise. Now I know that exercise will increase your weight loss uh, mostly, uh, except for the muscle that you put on which will offset some of the fat gain. But obviously nobody cries about putting on muscle, right? I mean our goal overall is to look better and feel better. It's not to just lose weight. Now when I did a 130 pound weight loss in less than a year, after a couple months of starting my weight loss, uh, I did start walking up to two miles per day. I started doing squats, 50 to 100 per day, just body weight squats, which is an excellent exercise that you can do anywhere. I would do it uh, when I got up out of bed. I would do it when I was in a hallway where nobody was around and I just had a couple minutes. I would do it in a bathroom stall if I needed to. Uh, I would just do squats whenever I felt like I had the energy to and uh, I feel like doing those throughout the day definitely helped turbocharge my weight loss but I was losing a lot of weight before I started exercising at all. This month so far I have not gone and done any exercise and I'm down oh I think it was 28 pounds this morning in about three weeks a little over three weeks right because today's day 22 so that's three weeks and one day and I'm down 28 pounds, 28 pounds without any exercise. Now, clearly doing exercise is going to increase your calorie burn. It's going to put on lean muscle mass, which increases your basal metabolic rate so that you burn a few more calories each day, regardless of whether you actually do any exercise that day. But what we need to realize is that we eat a specific diet to lose weight and we exercise to get in shape. Now the exercise is going to burn a few extra calories and it's going to, uh, like I said, increase our basal metabolic rate. So it will increase weight loss a little bit. But the thing is a lot of us don't have time. We just don't have the time to do the kind of exercise that it would take to lose the weight that we need to lose. So I know a lot of people that are like, well, I just eat whatever I want and I exercise. And guess what? Those people don't lose weight. They don't, they put on weight, they don't lose weight. You know how many people I see at work that tell me that they're, oh, I go to the gym six days a week and they're still little chunky monkeys? Huh? That's because they're not eating right. You eat right to lose weight and you exercise to get in shape. Now, I'm not saying that those people don't have uh, stronger muscles, that they don't have a stronger heart, that they can't exercise without getting short of breath longer than people that aren't exercising myself included, but they're not losing any weight. They, they've been going to the gym, they say, for years. Their body shape's the same. I've never seen them change. Now people go on crash diets and they look different. That should prove to you right there that you eat to lose weight and you exercise to get in shape. Now the best thing is to have a combination of both, right? Because if you exercise and you get in shape, you look better, you feel better, and you eat right, and then you lose weight, you lose fat, and then it shows your muscle definition. And what we really want to do is increase our health overall, right? We don't just have one goal. We want to live longer, we want to be healthier, and we want to enjoy our lives more. So what I would encourage you to do, and what I am personally going to do, is after you have no more sweets cravings, after you have uh, the hunger in check, after you're keto adapted, right? Which I am basically keto adapted at this point, you need to start an exercise program. And that exercise program can totally fit into your day. As I mentioned the squats before, which you can do anywhere, just body weight squats. And that's a huge set of muscles in your body um, your glutes are a huge set of muscles in your body and so you can increase HGH production which is a growth hormone that actually does increase your lean muscle mass and actually does burn fat unlike IGF-1 
uh, which sucks away fat as energy um, and, and keeps you from accessing the fat that you've already stored as energy. So you can do those squats. Um, you can walk, right? Take the stairs instead of the elevators. And I've done that before too. I start to go back from my break at work and I have a couple extra minutes. I just run up and down the stairs a couple times. And, you know, especially if you're big like I was or like I still am, I, I still have, uh, you know, several pounds to lose, 40 or 50 pounds to lose. But if you're big like that, that's carrying around a lot of extra weight. Going up and down the stairs is quite the workout, even if you only do it a couple times. And it almost kind of fits into that high intensity interval training, which I'm definitely looking into. And um, because you just put a short burst of energy out real quick and then you settle down and your body continues to burn those calories and build those muscles while you rest. So if you have any ideas for exercises on the go or something that you think has helped you out incredibly, put them in the comments below. And if you think I'm wrong, tell me. Thanks a lot and I'll see you tomorrow. 273.0